Hey everybody, Rick Grimes here, and today I'm going to be doing a contest entry for you. Uh, that's uh, Scott Running With Comics uh, 700 Subs Contest. So let's take a little time out from the apocalypse, and before I uh, put this guy back in the ground, we'll run through these seven questions here. Uh, favorite month, very dangerous month, when all the walking dead, when they come out at night, be very wary of all them walking dead. Well, let's take a time out here and let's do these questions. Seven questions. Let's go through them quick. Favorite monster. Okay, my favorite monster. Before the apocalypse. I don't like any monsters now, but before the apocalypse. Favorite monster. Frankenstein's monster. And not just any kind of Frankenstein. I don't like the bolts in the neck. The, uh, afraid of fire kind of Frankenstein. I like the actual novel Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. That was one of the best monsters. Okay, uh, let's see, next. Favorite costume from the past. Uh, that would probably be a Hellboy costume that I did. Um, I had the replica of the, of the right hand of doom. Uh, I since have, have sold it. It was just like last year. Um, but that was a favorite piece of mine up until then in my collection and uh, I made a, a, a Hellboy costume one year, had a gun, uh, you know, long coat, made the tail, um, all that. It was, it, was a, it was a really fun and one of the costumes that I put the most effort into. Um, so that was really cool. So it wasn't even, you know, from my childhood I can't even remember one that was all that good besides maybe... Um, those really crappy plastic costumes. Um, a Ninja Turtles one I got, but I didn't just use that for Halloween. So that one was kind of cool. So, uh, but it was probably only like a few dollars and just, you know, plastic shell you put on your back and, and you know, some plastic size. But, um, other, uh, so other than that, yeah, the, the, the Hellboy costume. Horror film or series? Okay. Just look at me and tell me which is my favorite series tv series <laughs> i'd have to say that is the best answer uh, other than that if it's in film uh, rather than tv series um i don't particularly um uh, i'm drawn to the the serious horror films um i like dark and and uh, dark and moody but i also like a little bit of comedy in there things that are interesting uh but not but not like the the the, you know the slasher thrillers all those don't really get me uh, but uh, a favorite one which was much which was really cool I thought was uh, Jason X so I just love the look of them very futuristic with all those nanobots that rebuilt them everything like half metal mask that was cool um, but uh, let's see another one that was really cool which I recently bought was Beetlejuice that was really cool might be considered more of a, a comedy but still had those, you know, all those Halloween and, and horror themes, I guess. Uh, so that one was really cool. Um, let's see, the next question, number four. If I could dress up as my favorite villain, or, or a villain and a hero, uh, which would I be? Um, and I picked for this one, very simple answer for the hero, Wolverine. If I can get a, a, a good costume. It had to be a very good one, not like those cheap ones at Walmart. And um, I probably have to suck in my gut a lot. So if I could do that, if I could hold my gut in for all the Halloween night and fit into a, a muscle suit, <laughs> then I'd go as Wolverine. Uh, favorite uh, uh, villain that I'd love to dress up as, be really, really, really cool, would be Ganondorf from the uh, Legend of Zelda video game series. Um, just recently got uh, uh, Hyrule Warriors. And uh, the uh, uh, Ganondorf in that one was just spectacular. I'd love to dress up as Ganondorf. Incredible costume for sure. Uh, let's see. Favorite horror book? Comic book or book in print? Uh, that's a very easy one to um, do as well too. Uh, I don't need to show you right now. You've probably seen them in the past. But uh, the Frankenstein novel. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein novel. And also... Uh, the comic book that has been taken very long uh, to complete, but very beautiful, is um, the Frankenstein Alive Alive, which is uh, a follow-up 
um, uh, book, a continuation of Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, um, as thought of by, um, uh, is it Steve, Steve Nels? No, I'm messing it up now, isn't I? Uh, but Bernie writes an artwork, and, uh, I'm messing up the name. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Steve Niles. There we go. Yeah, Steve Niles. Steve Niles and Bernie Wrightson had a look in the book there. Uh, but I also have the um, um, novel. I had a novel which I gave to uh, um, Tim uh, because I got the uh, Marvel first printing the graphic novel of uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, which is beautiful. It's the whole novel, word for word, plus illustrations by Bernie Rison, which is incredible. Um, yeah, favorite, favorite, favorite uh, horror book for sure. I've read Dracula and, um, you know, Jekyll and Hyde, some of all the classic monster books, uh, but definitely the best writing out of all of them is uh, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Incredible. Okay, favorite Halloween candy. Okay, yeah. This one, by far. And I, I love the candy so much, I have a t-shirt with the candy's name on it. I love it so much. And that is Tootsie Roll. I love Tootsie Rolls. And that's my favorite thing. If Logan comes home, he's got a bag of candy from Halloween, there's some Tootsie Rolls in, those are the first ones I nap. And we go out, you know, the buy our candy, I buy Tootsie Rolls. Probably by the end of the night, we have to go buy another bag of Tootsie Rolls to give because I've eaten most of those. <laughs> Tootsie Roll! Okay, now for a very morbid question, and which was very hard to answer. And I'm going to keep it very light because uh, for an epitaph, it's, uh, you know, a commemorative, you know, saying on your gravestone as thought of by others. Um, and I couldn't say what other people or my loved ones are going to think of me when I finally die. I could be an old cranky ass, and that's what they could write on my, uh, gravestone by that time. <laughs> but, uh, for this situation today, I'm going to say a good epitaph to put on, on, uh, my headstone would be, Two in the head, you know they're dead. That's how it should be. See you guys later. Bye.